to Natalie's Bakery. This is the Cressman Family Holiday Edition. I'm here in San Francisco with my family. This is Jeff, Sandy, and Juliana. And um, we're going to make a Brioche de Noel. It's a Yule log. And um, we want to give a shout out to Tartine Bakery here in San Francisco for the recipe. Um, so we're going to start by combining all these dry ingredients over here. So we're going to um, put the flour and the baking powder through a sieve. Okay. This is salt. Salt, okay. And this is sugar. Organic sugar, I might add. Yeah, we're doing all organic pretty much. <laughs> How many years have you guys been doing the Bouche de Noël? I think, yeah, it's been a tradition like for us. Yeah, we bring, it, we bring it down to our grandma's house in San Jose. It's a hit. So anyway, we're going to move on to the wet ingredients. And okay. all of these guys can just kind of go in, so... Pick one and I'll whisk. Okay. That is vegetable oil. All right. Go for it. And um, these are egg yolks. This is uh, three quarters cups of water. This is like lemon zest. Yeah, lemon zest. Okay. And some vanilla. Vanilla. So now, Juju, if you could make a well in the middle of the dry ingredients. Should I make it a mountain first and then a well? Um, <laughs> whatever works well for you. <laughs> so then we're gonna pour the wet into the dry in this well. Now you can stir it just until it's combined. Okay. So we're going to set this aside for a second. All right. So on to the meringue. Um, we've got some egg whites here that we separated already. Um, and Juliana, <laughs> the dancing bean, is going to <laughs> pour it into the big bowl. And Mom's going to mix it. Oh, wow. Mm. Lumpy. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> Did you get that sound? It's really nice. That's um, gross. gross. First, um, mix this until frothy. You got it. Now we're adding some cream of tartar, which is a must for any meringue recipe. That's good. Those make nice. approval, yeah. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to add the sugar and then continue mixing, continue mixing. until um, they hold firm peaks. Nice. Oh, yeah. Those look are look some at that. pretty stiff peaks. So, yeah, that, I think that's great. Um, so the next step is we're going to fold this really gently into the batter in thirds. This cake is nice and light, um, which is good because with the like ganache and the thick buttercream, can be a lot. This is not a low sugar or low fat recipe no. by any means. That's case. not the point? No, that's definitely not. I mean, not. the slices, the portions that you actually serve are not huge. They're no, they're huge. They can be huge. They're huge. They can. They're good. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. You can as you want. It's a tree. It's, it's vegetables. It's a tree. <laughs> it's natural. That's right. Yeah. 100% no natural. Where am I, I here? Am I not allowed to be here? You can be there. Can be I there. do this? Yeah. Alright. Okay, so pour it into the pan. Alright. This is looking really good. Okay. So we're gonna stick this in the oven if we really preheat it. Like that. And um and it's gonna take about 45 to 55 minutes for this to be done. We're going to make the coffee buttercream now. We're gonna combine the egg whites, sugar, and salt in this small bowl. <laughs> We have a, a pot here simmering with about two inches of water, and we're going to place this bowl on top of that. We're going to whisk this until the egg whites are hot. It'll take about five minutes. It's just like... Ooh. You're going to actually continue mixing for about another five minutes oh. with that. Continue by adding this butter that I've chopped up in little tablespoon sized chunks. We're going to add them one at a time. Okay. Oh God. You can see we've got some really yummy looking buttercream. The very last step to give it its coffee flavor, we've brewed our neighborhood Melania's coffee, double strength, um, and we're going to add this to the buttercream and mix until combined and then yeah check that out so that's our buttercream butter. mm -hmm. we're gonna set it aside until it's time to frost the cube yeah. <laughs> okay so now it's time to make the chocolate ganache um my, my favorite part well chocolate's my favorite okay it can be your favorite too okay so we've got um some heavy whipping cream here that we're going to heat on the stove in a small saucepan um, until it's just under a boil. 
It's really just supposed to be hot enough to melt to the melt chocolate. chocolate. Okay. Oh, my. Yeah. So, so you pour it over. We got some bittersweet chocolate in there, all chopped up. And do we stir? Oh, yeah, and stir it until it's combined. So I toasted these almonds Home ahead toasted. of time. Um, really easy to do. You just bake them for about five minutes. Yeah. And so we're going to mix this up, and this is our bark for our tree. Okay. Cool. Take that okay. bowl away from here. It's gonna be gone. Okay. Right now, we're going to really quickly make pistachio moss. So this is really simple. All we're going to do is put a quarter cup of pistachio in a food processor and grind it. So really quick before we put the cake together, we're going to make a really easy coffee syrup um, with some granulated sugar and some more of that double strength brewed uh, coffee. From Milano. From Cafe di Milano. On Ocean Avenue in San Francisco. Great spot. I get them to ship me their French roast to New York all mm -hmm. the time. <laughs> and that says something. We're going to stir it, stir it to stir dissolve it. the sugar in the coffee. Stir it. And as soon as we achieve that, we can take it off the heat because it doesn't actually have to be hot. Now we've come to the part where we're going to make the little itty bitty meringue mushrooms. Mom's favorite part. My favorite part. Um, so we're going to start by adding this confectioner's sugar, otherwise known as powdered sugar. Icing sugar. Or in Britain, icing, icing sugar. sugar. And um, a little bit of flour, and um, we're gonna sift it into this bowl. So now we're gonna switch over to messing with the egg whites. Um, somebody can pour the egg whites, and then just a little pinch of cream of tartar. Would you like to add the cream of tartar? Sure. And then, so now we're gonna mix this until um, the the whites um, form kind of soft peaks. When we get to that point, then we'll add the granulated sugar. All right, here I go. We're going to add the granulated sugar. You can just keep mixing. Yeah, so yeah, you want awesome. the meringue to be kind of glossy and hold stiff peaks. And now we're going to gently fold in the sugar flour mixture. These are tempting. Oh, mama. <laughs> yeah, there's like three different stages with meringues in it. And mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry, we like okay. luck. <laughs> I keep wagging people with my we like luck. Cool. Ah, wow. This is Sorry, I keep doing that. Okay. Lost sensation in your handlers. I've lost <laughs> sensation in my handlers. Put the meringues in these Ziploc bags. We're going to cut just a little tiny hole at the tip, and we're making the meringue mushrooms. This might be better scissors. You want to do uh, meringue stems and meringue caps, and we're going to assemble them once they are all cooked. Oh. Oh, I don't know what that is. That's a worm. <laughs> I made a worm. Okay, so we have our little meringues all done. We're going to stick them in the oven for four hours.
there's your Bush de Noel right there. Thank you so much for watching Natalie's Bakery and um, happy holidays to happy everyone. Happy holidays! <laughs>